Hello everyone. This is a Toshiba Satellite 335CDS and this particular one is in nice shape. Uh, it's not doesn't have broken plastics, it's not destroyed in any way, it's actually a, a survivor I would say of all the years of abuse that it could have gone through. Let's take a quick look uh, on the inside and then we'll take a look at the outside so uh, here it is, Toshiba Satellite 335CDS. It's got an Intel Pentium with MMX technology. Ooh, ooh, fancy. And I really like the layout of this machine. Um, I'm not a fan of when they have a pointing stick and they have the buttons side by side. I don't like that. I really like the way they did this. So it obviously doesn't have a touchpad. It's got the pointing stick and buttons. A very nice keyboard, uh, nice feeling, again, as I usually say, not the best I've felt, but it is pretty damn good. Um, speaker cutouts up here for the pretty substantial speakers. They're, they're not bad by any means. They're actually pretty good for what I... Uh, I assume this is a sort of business class laptop. It's not a consumer one, but I could be wrong. But they do sound very good. We have some indicators up here for... Um, for the keyboard um, modifiers, I guess, caps lock, scroll lock, and etc. We'll take a look at the front. Um, there is what I think is a vent up here. Right here is where you could remove the battery. You slide this sideways and the battery pops out. Got indicators for things that are going on. Uh, on this side we've got a power button with a slide over lock which is in good shape. I think this is a reset button. I'm not sure, but I think that's what it is. Got audio as well as this little knob for adjusting the volume. On the back, there is a cooling fan, uh, infrared USB with a slide up um, port cover, which is nice. A lot of times I don't see that these are still intact, so it's nice to see one of those still good. One PS2 port, uh, DC input, so it's I think a 15 volt 4 amp power adapter that it requires. Pretty standard assortment of ports here, communications, uh, parallel and VGA out. On the side we've got a Kensington lock with an actual switch that allows you to lock the Kensington lock uh, in, which is kind of neat. On this side we have an intact port door with cutouts, um, so these were, you could break these out and then have the um, the cover closed but the thing still sticking out, if that makes any sense. Those are still there, which is neat. Uh, on the side there's a brightness adjustment, built-in floppy drive, and built-in CD drive. You could actually remove both of these and replace them with, I mean, a DVD drive, I guess. I don't know what you would replace the floppy with. But it's interesting to see this slim design. These are not very common anymore. Well, not very easy to acquire. On the back, very plain. We've got the Toshiba information here. Um, the just general information. This is a 15 volt 2 amp, not 4 amp power adapter. Underneath here is the hard drive. And we'll take a look at the screen now. I apologize if the camera makes a little bit of a noise. I gotta readjust the tripod in just a second. There we go. So I don't have uh, the original power adapter, but I do have one that'll work. So I'm gonna plug that in now. So let's boot this up with the button on the side, like so. This has a, and I think I said this in another video and I wasn't sure about it, a TFT screen. Not sure, uh, but it's a screen that doesn't look very good at all. It's actually rather terrible to look at. But it is just the nature of the screen, and as they age, they get a little bit worse. So, it is what it is. And you see how freaking fast that boots up? That amazed me about this laptop. It boots up so fast. Um, it is a fresh installation, mind you, but still, it's very fast. 
So the hard drive that I um, installed in here, because the original one was missing, is a 20 gigabyte. Um, man, I always lose my mouse on these. That's why pointer trails were a thing, I believe. So that you wouldn't lose your mouse on these older screens. Let's try to look at C drive. Uh, it says capacity 7.85 gigs. I do believe that's just one partition though. I did install a 20 gig drive in here. We'll take a look at the uh, system settings. It should have 96 megs of RAM and it has a 233 megahertz Pentium. Yep, 96 megs of RAM. It's running Windows 98 first edition and I think that this has a good battery. If it doesn't, I'm sorry for cold killing it. Yep, good battery. At least somewhat good. Kinda, I don't want to leave it on battery power too long. Yeah, now it's complaining. So it holds a charge, but just not a very long charge. Um, really, not a lot to mention. As I said, it's got a base installation of Windows 98, so there isn't anything to show you in the way of programs. Uh, so I guess we'll go ahead and shut it down. And with that, I will conclude the video. So, yeah, just wanted to show that this thing is in nice shape, that it still exists, and that uh, I'll actually be selling this on eBay shortly, uh, right after this video is posted. I'm going to go and list it on eBay. I will have the link in the video description. If you're watching this two, three years down the road, it's probably not still available, but you can at least see what it sold for and that it sold at all. So, with that said, I thank you very much for watching and hope you enjoyed, and we will see you whenever the next video happens to come out.